Good morning, 47. We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map, mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Freak in the mask? What the hell are you talking about? I was just at the security station watching the feeds. There's this creepy guy interrogating the hostage. He wears like a 3D printed mask? Oh yeah, that must be Berg. Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation techniques, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the basement. Could be an opportunity there, 47. Oh, yeah, man. His interrogation techniques, totally just out-of-the-box stuff. Like truth serums, drugs, that kind of thing. But uh, none of the rough stuff. No, they don't like to mark up their patients, so to speak. Those Mossad boys like things clean and efficient. Bird. Good to go.
when I went into demolition, I found out. That is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin turned pirate turned insurgent. Training, many guys. That would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. He's point He's man in the Mexico operation. Have you seen huh. how Got clipped by a ram or something? Like the team trains with a battering so ram to simulate the attack on Secretary Torres' motorcade. A battering ram has injured one of the strike team, point man by the name of Burgess. And according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless point man of his duties. I don't know. I guess old Burgess had his head up his ass. Nine out of ten accidents happen in the home. They do say that. Anyway, the guy was lucky. Sprained his ankle, that's all. He'll be back in a couple. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure. Why? Well, if we ever want to get rid of Rose without the boss knowing, I guess uh, Burgess just taught us how. Huh. I like your thinking. Tell Parvati, eh, man? It'll make her day. You know? I've spent all the significant moments in my life this way. I sometimes feel like he's my best friend in the world. Will win in the cage of death. Chairs, two by fours, and broken glass allowed. That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Strange to see her as part of this crowd. Sick. Sorry, let me through. So I just found out that Pavati was a Tamil tiger. Oh, you were at Jordan Cross. That huh? is Sean Rose, terrorist turned insurgent. Oh, son of a bitch is lucky to be alive. Do we need to replace him? <laughs> Shit, no. Burgess is the best of the lot. He just needs to lie down and take a shot of anodyne. The team will do a few runs in the meantime. So we're on schedule. We're on schedule, Rose. Quit micromanaging. I know my shit. Same as you. We'll see. I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride. That's all. Good it's to hear. Rose. All right, I'm heading head over, over to the, the briefing now. area. Tell we'll resume in a moment. you all to know this by heart but in case amnesia has set in here's the sequence advance to the car with haste eliminate the passengers retrieve the briefcase extract got that and remember 
Speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. Body. Please proceed. Pretend I'm not here. Not a problem. All right, let's go again. On your marks. Ready, set, execute. <laughs> overall performance was passable. Good speed and accuracy, but coordination needs to improve. The point is to build up muscle memory. A perfect sequence of synchronized motion. You need to be able to pull this off sleeping. Passable? Your point man was spectacular. He'd make an excellent assassin. The rest of the team needs to work a lot harder to meet my standards. Let's go. Two flies with one swat. Good to see you. That's weird. So this test that Rose has planned seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive to me. She's got it coming. And nobody can switch sides like Graves and, and just expect to be accepted. Tests are in order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that? I... Penelope Graves is still new to this outfit. And it looks like Rose is going to test her dedication to the cause. He's arranged for one of the communications technicians to act as an outside agent. The tech is supposed to show her an Interpol badge and escort her to the slurry pit, asking her to betray the militia. Might I suggest a last-minute recasting, 47? I... I don't know, man. But I just hope the technician knows how to act. She used to be the enemy. I, I don't have any sympathy for that. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got the badge, right? Yeah, he showed it to me over by the tent. Rehearsed his lines, too. He's taking this pretty seriously. Should be in the clear. There's nothing this guy can't fix. Don't give a rat's ass about local wildlife. Listen, I know, I know this sounds nuts. That thing out there, it had four legs, but it was crawling. A lizard, a big snake. Relax, buddy. I'm sure, if anything mysterious like that. Ha! <laughs> Seen you guys on TV, but in real life, <laughs> pretty scary. We need to talk. Your... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there.
Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. And what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. Okay, listen guys, I appreciate your dedication, but please can you just let me have some alone time? I've got to focus and it's, well it's not easy with an entourage, okay? Thank you. Think, Graves. How did they get to you? Huh? Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. The guy, the guy Ezra Berg has tied up in the interrogation room. He's one of the enemy's couriers. Errols. They call himself Errols, posh bastards. The enemy uses them to communicate with their in-world operatives, so there's no direct contact. Boss got one in Johannesburg, didn't he? Shot him dead in an underground car park. So why keep this one alive? The interrogator, Ezra Berg, has a way with people. He's got more drugs than God out there in his makeshift lab. I'm willing to bet the dapper little shit knows more than he's leading on. Berg will make him talk. Yeah. Harold's. Yeah, I have to admit, it's gonna ring to him. and running. Oh, 
privacy up to it. Time for another cigarette, I guess. Mr. Burke, yeah, I don't know if you're aware, but your, uh, your subject seems to be sleeping, or dead. Probably sleeping, but you might want to check on it. Shit! That is Ezra Berg, former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. soldier. All targets taken care of, 37. Now gain access to the tornado shelter. Something's going down. Stand. Cowboy up. We're in business. And I'm here now in the area of Thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg. Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingford, Del Vade, 
The Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Found something. Sodas? But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. A warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. <laughs>